Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. Today I will uh, review and uh, show you the swatches of a uh, few Dior Couture polishes and this time the swatches will be from their uh, newest collection which is launched very recently on 27 January and the collection's name is Love Is. Uh, it's a Valentine's Day themed collection, I guess, by the name. So uh, I have uh, three out of the six uh, polishes. Um, of course, the collection is uh, the collection consists of six uh, polishes: uh, one cream, one shimmer, one hollow, one micro glitter, one thermal, and one glow in the dark. So, out of those six polishes, I right now have three polishes which I will uh, show you guys. And uh, these are the three. Uh, one is cream, one is uh, micro glitter and one is thermal. So of course you will see the close up of these polishes during the swatching and how they look over my nails. And uh, I was skeptical about this uh, pink polish uh, although I loved the color but I was uh, not sure how it would look on my dark skin tone but it complemented my skin tone so nicely and right now it's matching my lips so anyways uh, let's move on to the swatching and I'll see you guys at the end of this video the first one I'm going to swatch is called love is gentle and this one is a very beautiful hot pink colored cream finish polish My nails are already prepped with a base coat and here goes the first coat. The application is really smooth. There are very less patchy spots. It's not streaky at all. And uh, I believe uh, in the second coat uh, the flaws will be covered completely. So let's see how the second coat goes on. Here comes the second coat and uh, like I guessed it's, uh, it, it covers the, the flaws completely. You don't need another coat. This is a two coater and uh, it's, uh, the second coat is not at all streaky. It covers all the uh, patchiness uh, of the first coat and it goes really smooth. So this is how it looks after cleanup and without a top coat. It dries to a semi matte finish. Uh, it looks very nice on its own. But uh, let me apply a top coat and uh, this is how it looks after applying top coat. This color is really pretty and I really liked how it uh, complemented my skin tone. Next up is Love is Unconditional. This one is a thermal crelly loaded with multicolored glitters. The polish transitions from a grey color when warm to black when it's cooled. Here goes the first coat. The polish is really sheer. So I will apply three coats and I think you need three coats to get it fully opaque. The polish is loaded with glitter so you do not have to fish the glitters from the bottle. So every uh, stroke I applied there was glitter in the brush so I didn't have to look for glitters to apply evenly on my nails. So I am applying the second coat here and then I will wait for it to dry and uh, I will go for the third coat. And I'm really sorry about the sloppy application uh, that was because my camera was in a weird angle and uh, this was the best I was able to do without blocking the view. So here goes the third and final coat. You definitely need three coats to make it fully opaque on your nails. So this is how it looks after cleanup and without any top coat. This polish also dries to a semi matte finish and uh, this is how it looks after applying the top coat. 
Now let's test the color transition of this polish. I am dipping my hands into cold water here and it changes to black like I said. And now into warm water and it turns back to grey. So you can see the side by side uh, comparison of the color transition here and I will also insert a few pictures at the end of this clip. So I kept the best for the last. This one is called Love is Powerful. It's a beautiful silver holographic micro glitter polish. It's loaded with micro glitters, hollows and it's so gorgeous. Just look at it. Here goes the first coat. The application is really smooth considering that uh, this polish is loaded with micro glitters and flakies and holographic particles but the application is really smooth and it's so sparkly in real life guys this is a must have for like every polish addict it's so sparkly i was distracted completely when i was doing that nail porn video i was like hollow sparkles glitters so shiny and i was completely distracted by that um, anyways i'm sorry about my hand blocking your view but that's just the first coat so just uh, ignore that Th this will be over so here comes the second coat it's completely opaque in two coats you don't need a third coat it does dry with a little bit of texture and that that is because it's uh, loaded with uh, glitters and uh, holographic particles so it does rise to a textured finish but uh, you can smooth everything with a top coat so not to worry about that so this is how it looks after cleanup and without a top coat even without top coat it's so shiny guys and this is how it looks after applying a top coat just look at the hollow it's so beautiful and so gorgeous oh god this is a must have So that's all I have for today's video. I hope you loved and enjoyed the swatching as much as I did. And uh, don't forget to leave a comment down below. Let me know which shade you like the most. And if you are planning to buy, then uh, check the description box below. I have linked everything in the description box. That would be easier for you. So go check them out and uh, follow them around their social networks. Everything is there in the info box. And also follow me around my social networks. It's uh, it's also there in the description box. And you will also see the links at the end of this video. So don't forget to follow me around okay guys and also yeah please hit the subscribe button be a part of this lovely family i would love to see you guys around thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next tutorial till then take care i love you all bye